Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Today I wanted to show you how to apply Newton's Law of Cooling math equation. Uh, basically this formula is on my Calculus 2 study guide or my integral calculus cheat sheet that I came out with recently. So I wanted to show you exactly how to apply it with an example. Um, if you haven't already checked out my integral calculus cheat sheet, there's a link down in the description and the pinned comment below where you can learn more about that and get yourself a copy. It's available for instant download, so go get that now. Pull it up the PDF or print it out and have it next to you and I'll show you exactly how to use that Newton's Law of Cooling formula here. So let's just jump right into it. So here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today. When a cold drink is taken from a refrigerator, its temperature is 5 degrees. After 25 minutes in a 20 degree room, its temperature has increased to 10 degrees. Two part question here. What is the temperature of the drink after 50 minutes and when will its temperature be 15 degrees? So I've already jotted down here the Newton's Law of Cooling formula from my integral calculus cheat sheet that I mentioned. Uh, so this formula, basically we have a couple different things going on here. This capital T is the temperature of the object you're looking at. So in this case, the temperature of the drink. The lowercase t is the time that has passed since it was, uh, you know, taken out of the refrigerator. Uh, this k is going to be some unknown constant we're going to have to figure out. And then this TS is the temperature of the surrounding. So since we're taking this drink and we're putting it in a 20 degree room, we know right off the bat that this TS is gonna be 20. So we can actually can just go ahead and swap that out right now, giving us kind of this you know new version of this same formula that is applicable for this problem specifically. So really when you're doing these types of problems, the first thing you wanna do, we're gonna kind of introduce a new variable and make a substitution here to make our problem a little bit simpler. So what we can do is just take whatever's in the parentheses here and we'll call that y. So we'll say y equals t minus 20. And then what we can do is rewrite this as a differential equation in terms of y, this new variable that we created, instead of the temperature of the object that we're looking at. So doing that is gonna give us something like this, right? We're just gonna have dy dt equals the same unknown constant times y, because our y was all this stuff. So now what we also need to figure out is what, uh, what y is when t is zero. So basically y of zero. In other words, our initial condition. So remember, when the drink is taken out of the refrigerator, it is five degrees. So what that tells us basically is the initial temperature of the drink is five. So what we wanna do to figure out what Y is at that initial time when it's taken out of the refrigerator is to plug in five degrees for our temperature here and we would get five minus 20, which is negative 15. So when our time is zero, when zero time has elapsed, our Y is gonna be negative 15. So basically what we have now here is an initial value problem where we have dy dt equals some constant times y and then our initial condition is y of zero equals negative 15. Well, one of the other formulas on my integral calculus cheat sheet tells us exactly what the solution of this type of initial value problem is gonna be. We know that we're just gonna get y equals our initial condition, so whatever y is when t is zero, negative 15, times e to the kt. So now what we need to do is solve for k. We need to figure out what this unknown constant is. Um, and to do that, what we wanna do is, there's gonna need to be another point, basically, that we, we were given that we're gonna have to use. Or in other words, another measure of the drink's temperature at a certain time, right? So let's, so let's just say that this is, you know, we, we could call the units whatever we want. We could say this is hours, we could say it's minutes, whatever works. Uh, in this case, let's just go ahead and say that t is going to be in minutes, right? So the other point that we're given is we know after 25 minutes, the temperature is going to be 10 degrees. So if our, our units are in minutes, and then degrees obviously is the output, uh, the point that we know when t is 25, 25 minutes, the temperature of the drink is 10 degrees. But remember, this is an equation of y now. It's not an equation of temperature. So what we have to do is figure out what y is when the temperature is 10 degrees. Well, if t is 10, if big T is 10, the temperature is 10, minus 20, that tells us y is negative 10 at that point. So when t is 25, y is negative 10. What we can do now is plug in 25 for t, negative 10 for y, and solve for k. So doing that is gonna give us negative 10, equals negative 15 times e to the k times 25. 
and now we just want to get k all by itself. So we would divide both sides by negative 15, giving us two thirds, basically 10 over 15 will uh, simplify to two thirds and the negatives will cancel equals e to the 25 k. Then we can take the natural log of both sides, giving us natural log of two thirds equals natural log of e to the 25k. The natural log and the e cancel, so we just get 25k over here. And then divide both sides by 25, telling us k is natural log of 2 thirds over 25. So now what we can do is put this back in for k. So we'll put our k back into this equation up here. And then what we also want to do now is convert this into an equation for temperature, right? So we want to go back from y back to t. So to do that, remember the temperature is just 20 more than whatever y is, right? If we solve this equation for t instead of y, we would just add 20 to both sides and we would get y plus 20 equals our temperature. So if we take this equation for y and add 20 to it, that should give us an equation for temperature. And then at the same time, we'll also put this in for K. So doing that is going to tell us the temperature at time T is just going to be uh, 20 plus or, you know, plus this equation, which would be minus 15 times E to the natural log of two thirds over 25 times T. All right. So this is going to be our equation, which tells us the temperature of the drink at time T in minutes. So now to figure out what the temperature of the drink is after 50 minutes, all we would have to do is take this equation, plug in 50 for T. And then if we want to figure out when its temperature will be 15 degrees, all we would have to do is plug in 15 for the temperature over here and then solve for our T over here. I'm not going to show you all the steps of how to do that because it's going to follow uh, an extremely similar process to uh, what we just did here. Um, you know, plugging in, plugging in 25 or plugging in 50 for T, it's already solved for. You just got to plug that into a calculator to figure that one out. And then if we want to put in 15 for the temperature over here and solve for T, we would do the same kind of uh, arithmetic operations that we just did up here, right? You know, subtract the 20 over, divide by negative 15, take the natural log to cancel out the E and then you just get T all by itself. And that's all there really is to that problem. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, join the Jake's Math Lessons community. Be sure to keep checking back. I've got plenty of videos coming out, a couple each week, and together I'll help you get better grades in calculus. So see you next time.